My name is Drew Holton. I will be telling you about the pond habitat today. We made a pond habitat because we have studied about most animal groups. The sun is a big bowl of fire. If you get close to the sun, you will die. The sun starts the water cycle. More and more rain gathers and finally it rains. The sun warms up the water, but you can't see the water evaporate because it's happening so slowly. The water cycle starts again. Plants need soil, sun, and water to grow, but don't forget the seeds. Without soil, sun, or water, a plant wouldn't survive. All this year, we have been studying about all animal groups. The sun, uh, 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 we have been studying about all animal groups. The first group I will talk about is mammals. I am a mammal, you are a mammal. A mammal has to have hair. And our characteristic is that mammals never leave their young. Birds are a nower group. Birds have wings, birds have beaks, we have fish. Fish have gills for breathing underwater. Fish have a clear bubble over their eyes. When we studied about insects, I learned that insects have wings for flying. Reptiles have scales, amphibians can be frogs. You might want to you might want to build a pond habitat in your classroom someday.